Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is an important video for those who are still planning to migrate to Australia to become a pharmacist. The Australian Pharmacy Council have replaced CAPS examination with the new exam OPRA, which is Overseas Pharmacist Readiness Assessment Examination. So keep watching the video till the end to know more about the dates. going to talk about what is opera examination what are the key changes what is the exam pattern the content the scoring the results and key changes the opera examination will be launched on March 2025 so that means the last caps examination will be on November 2024 now talking about opera ex examination it is similar to CAPS in the sense where it is going to assess the knowledge of pharmacists who are seeking an opportunity to work there. So same thing, they are assessing your knowledge, your skills, everything that is required for you to become a pharmacist in Australia. Let's talk about the important things here. First thing, we are going to talk about the exam pattern. It is a computer-based MCQ type uh, examination, which is multiple choice questions. Opera exam has 120 questions which should be attended within 2.5 hours which is a drastic change from the CAPS examination because in CAPS you know it is around two different papers and four hours so here you're only writing one paper which is computer based and it will be around 2.5 hours that is 150 minutes for 120 questions. Now let's talk about the exam content or the syllabus. So previously you can see the CAP syllabus. It Pharmaceutical was. chemistry, 30% of questions from that area. Pharmacology, physiology, 70% and pharmaceutics, 30% and therapeutics, 70%. But for the opera exam, it is going to be more questions. You can see 45% questions are going to be coming from therapeutics and patient care area. Pharmacology, toxicology around 15%, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics 10%, medicinal chemistry and biopharmaceutics 10%. Now this is a relief because you don't need to focus more on chemistry this time. And biomedical sciences 20%. Next we are going to talk about the scoring system. So this time the examination is having a very different type of scaled scoring system. They are going to be uh, scored questions and unscored questions and you will never know which, quest uh, which questions will be scored and which questions will be unscored. So it seems 90% of the questions will be scored and 10% will be the unscored questions which you will have to attend of course each candidate will get a unique set of questions and nobody will know nobody is going to get similar questions so it's like a randomized uh, type of questions you're going to get and always remember the unscored questions will be evenly distributed it is going to cover all the areas of the syllabus and passing the examination depends upon your overall performance including the unscored questions Next important part of the video is exam results. So one thing you will have to know is that question and answers will not be revealed. Second thing, we will never know how much we scored, uh, what is the percentage or anything. So the, the way how the results will be displayed is pass or fail. And the results will be available within four weeks with the dates released on the website. Everybody check the description box because I am going to give you the important links regarding the things which you should know about the examination, links for the exam registration, links for the sample paper, links for the syllabus. So these links can be found below the description box. So please check that out. Next, let's talk about the key changes. So first thing, exam duration is shorter compared to CAPS, which we discussed before in this video. Next, the content area is revised, which you can see more focus this time is on therapeutics and patient care. 
and there is an updated methodology regarding the examination uh, scores and the cost is also reduced compared to CAPS examination. So the cost here is around $2,190 for OPRA examination. Now what is not changed? So there is no change in the difficulty of the examination and the eligibility process, document evaluation, registration process, no change, everything is same. I have a video on skill assessment, how to apply for it. You can check that video link above. So everyone here will be having doubts because there are people who have already submitted for document evaluation, waiting for CAPS examination. So just remember the last registration period for CAPS exam is 6th August to 8th October 2024. Whoever is planning to register in this period will be eligible for CAPS examination. So after this, the last date for CAPS exam is 25th to 27th November 2024. Now, new eligibility check applications will not be assessed in time for registration for the November CAPS examination. So make sure if you want to write the CAPS, you will have to register now within this month because it will take three months for the uh, eligibility check and assessment so that you can write CAPS examination. So make sure what you're going to write. So I hope this video was informative for everyone out there who are still planning to migrate to Australia. So be updated regarding the changes uh, of examination and updates regarding the exam patterns, syllabus and everything be updated regarding Australian pharmacist registration. So all the videos, I have a big playlist regarding Australia uh, pharmacist registration process. The skill assessment and everything is still same, the registration process. So you can uh, check out those videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned because there are more videos regarding opera examination which will be coming soon and will be posted in my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day ahead.